Introduced in the mid-2250s, the Crossfield-class starship was the Federation's latest model of dedicated science vessel, being originally intended for interstellar exploration and survey missions, as well as general-purpose scientific research. However, following the outbreak of the Federation Klingon War in 2256, the first three vessels of the class, the USS Crossfield, USS Glenn, and USS Discovery, were co-opted to serve as testbeds for the experimental displacement-activated Spore Hub Drive, a project that had now been granted overwhelming support for its potential military applications. At a length of 750.5 meters, the Crossfield class presents a large and unusual space frame when compared to the more typical geometry of Federation design. The ship's warp nacelles are extremely long, making up most of the ship's length, and the vessel's saucer section is separated into three concentric segments, each of which is configured to rotate its dorsal and ventral surfaces to cavitate excess energy from the ship's spore drive prior to a jump. The vessel bears a crew of 136 across 18 decks, and often carries an off-the-book supplementary security force on detachment from Section 31 to ensure the protection and continued secrecy of the classified spore drive. Though primarily a research platform and experimental testbed, the Crossfield class is capable of passively defending itself in combat. The ship is equipped with seven variable yield phaser arrays spread across the saucer and secondary hull, supported by both forward and aft photon torpedo launchers. The ship's deflector shields are resilient and are relied upon to protect the vessel's more delicate hull structure from direct weapons fire. For its large size, the Crossfield is surprisingly nimble in combat, allowing the craft to present a more difficult target for larger and slower hostile vessels. The displacement-activated Spore Hub Drive carried aboard the Crossfield class is an advanced organic propulsion system, originally theorized by astromycologist Dr. Paul Stamets and his research partner Strahl. The drive made use of Prototaxitus Stellaviatori spores to tap into the pangalactic subspace domain known as the Mycelial Network, which could be exploited as a system of quantum highways to travel vast distances in near instantaneous jumps. Early tests in 2256 resulted in successful jumps of over 90 light years in 1.3 seconds, though the potential existed for violent bloom failures and radioactive outbreaks in the early stages of experimentation, one of which tragically resulted in the death of the entire crew of the USS Glenn, and the later scuttling of that vessel by the USS Discovery to prevent the drive technology from falling into Klingon hands. Eventually it was discovered that a species of macroscopic tardigrade native to the mycelial network could be used as a navigator to ensure consistent safe operation of the drive system, but after this process was found to be harming the tardigrade in captivity, the approach was abandoned on ethical grounds. The problem was later solved when Dr. Stamets chose to transfuse himself with tardigrade DNA aboard the USS Discovery, taking the place of the tardigrade itself as the spore drive's organic navigator. As this dangerous medical procedure could never reasonably be made standard practice, the Discovery then became the only vessel in the galaxy equipped with a fully operational and controllable spore drive. Across the course of the Klingon War, the USS Discovery was withdrawn entirely from its research role and applied as a valuable tactical asset against the Klingons. By making strategic use of the spore drive, the vessel was able to rush to the aid of besieged Federation colonies, conduct lethal ambushes against Klingon military vessels, and perform force reconnaissance over enormous distances. The vessel even succeeded in destroying a colossal Klingon sarcophagus ship in the Battle of Parvo by using rapid spore jumps to repeatedly outflank and strike its adversaries. The USS Discovery was officially listed as destroyed following the Battle of Zaheya in 2257. In actuality, the vessel was forced to permanently travel 930 years into the future through an artificial wormhole in order to safeguard potentially dangerous alien data from the rogue Section 31 AI known as Control. Following the disappearance of the Discovery and Control's destruction, the crew of the USS Enterprise and any other survivors of the Battle of Zaheya were sworn to secrecy concerning the Discovery and her spore drive under penalty of treason, as part of a larger initiative to prevent similar disasters in the future. Though the spore drive equipped Crossfield class did work as intended in the case of a single vessel for several months, the project on the whole was regarded as a costly failure by the Federation. Recreating its successful results would require the forced modification of further individuals to serve as navigators, an act regarded as highly illegal under the genetic engineering sanctions set in place following the eugenics wars. Starfleet instead allocated its resources almost entirely toward constructing new Constitution-class vessels, and the Spore Drive project remained permanently classified and unremarked by history. 
Thank you for watching Space Doc. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please do check out the links on the screen right now or in the description below for our Patreon and channel membership services. Anything you can pledge goes towards improving our team and our equipment and allowing us to put together bigger and more exciting video projects for you guys on the channel.